what's going on? Jerome here along with Ben and welcome to Global Sweets. So today's episode we are going to be taking a look at all sorts of British candy. So I thought it'd be smart to bring my resident British guy. Yep, there we go. We got, some, we got some great candies on here and some really nasty ones too. So you're in for a treat. Oh God. So <laughs> Ben and I went to the store. We picked up a lot of these from the international food aisle at Wegmans actually. Yep. Uh, some of these I'm very familiar with. Fruit pastilles actually unrelated to British candy or not is my favorite candy of all. So yep. very excited to eat some of those. Uh, and I've had, let me think, I've had Milka bars, obviously, I've had Mars bars, I've had, not Crumble, there was another name for something similar. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like Crunchy? It was, uh, I know, yeah, it's, it's something Crunchy very, something. It's something similar to that, yeah. Uh, Have you ever had Nine Brew? No, this is the only non-food that Ben made me get. He says this is like a British soda that is very popular and also disgustingly full of sugar. Oh yeah, there's 52 no. grams of oh, sugar yeah. in this thing. You're like, I, I, it's a very, it's very much like Marmite or Vegemite. You either love it or you hate it. And is this like, is this popular? Oh yeah, no, very. very How popular. does your entire country not have the beatus? <laughs> no. Two grams of sugar, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're gonna give these a try here. Uh, have a fun time, and that's pretty much it. So Ben, where would you? recommend that we Would start. you want to start nice or you know what you're going to start off with the licorice or so oh, i love licorice so so if anybody likes licorice you normally don't like these well why would they do that because <laughs> they're just not nice okay well i i mean i grew up with black licorice my dad so like this... trained me into thinking that black licorice actually tasted good so i i felt yeah trick. so there's a, a selection of them here as you can see uh, oh man, I'm gonna yeah. pull out of the bag because I don't know who put their butt cheeks on your life. Yeah, uh, you know, there's one I like in here and I don't think they got it. But I, I'm not it's all right, but I prefer just normal licorice. Like, why did they do the bad thing to it? No. Oh. Yeah, not a fan. No. Why'd you start off with the bad one? Because then we get the nice stuff and we don't get this stuff. To... I'm going to taste this in my mouth the whole <laughs> part of the video. <laughs> there, there is one nice one. It's these, uh, they're, they're called... Uh, Nobody bobblies is what we call them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobbly bobbly. Yeah, they're these ones, and they're oh, actually nice. Let me, let me have a nobbly bobbly. Oh, you fat? Oh, man. You're like that. So this is the nobbly bobbly. You got little nobbly bobblies over and over, right? Well, you mean little sprinkles? Mm. Nobbly bobblies? No, that tastes so bad. Are you tricking me? Or? No, that I would actually... I'm going to pick through that bag later and pick them all out. Wow. Huh. Right? Oh yeah, a Verdo. Yeah, so it's, it's weird if you... Like, that, what is that? It has like a little bit of a uh, licorice, but not Let me much. see if it, they don't usually put many in the bag, but uh... <laughs> oh wow, is that the only one? <laughs> no way! <laughs> like I said... That was legit... Yeah, in every licorice or sorts bag you ever get. Yeah. There's just one? Yeah. One lucky knobbly bobbly, really? Yeah, and, and it's everybody's favorite. <laughs> Because you can't buy them separately unless you go to like a really old fashioned like candy store. That is legit the only one? Yeah. Wow. Right, there you go. Alrighty, well, uh, let's give another one of these a try. Uh. I do. Honestly, yeah, I don't even know what that is, so we've got to try that. Well, it says Vienna on it, so we went to the wrong country. There's so gonna. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, all right, let's try out. Uh, this is this is very British. This and is... that was very overpriced. That was like six dollars. They're called clotted cream fudge, and that was like six fifty or yeah, something. Yeah, it's Scottish. It's, it's yeah. Scottish. If there are any British viewers out there watching, by the way, obviously we have to pay a lot more than you guys would pay for these things because we have to ship them from overseas. So I don't know how much this would be, you know, in Britain, but in the U.S. that was like six fifty or something like that. Let me break you off a little bit there. Oh man, let's give it a try. Is it just fudge then, or? It's like, it's, it's different. I don't like it, but I, I'm here, so yay. Mm. It's all right. It's kind of like low-end fudge, really. <laughs> that is the nastiest colored cream fudge I've ever tasted. <laughs> well, there you have it. So from the British guy himself, oh, that's the man. nastiest cl clotted cream fudge. Oh, get that out of here. Oh. It's really, I mean, it's all right. It's not, oh, I mean, it's pretty bad, but... <laughs> All right, you can choose next. I'll I'm choose gonna choose next. Mars bar because uh, I I can certify this as very mm -hmm. good. I love a good Mars bar. There you go. You know, so, they're like very similar, honestly, to kind of like almost snick like they're not they don't have nuts in them like Snickers. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, not really Milky Way. Milky they're basically yeah. like Milky Ways. So almost actually, mm -hmm. I, I, they're like identical, like for taste wise anyway. Yeah. Right, they're good. Yeah, that's good in the uh, taste of everything else out my mouth now. Yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. good. Wow. Mm. 
Very good. <laughs> this is very palate cleanser. Yeah, it is. So, an interesting, I have to tell you an interesting fact about this one afterwards. But this is the Lion bar. bar, and this is a, their packaging got changed there, and I'll tell you about why after. <laughs> it's after. not appropriate for video? No. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> I would say research that at home, but don't. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, what is this called? Oh, <laughs> I'm going to measure over the table. It it's looks, a lion bar, and it is a really nice chocolate. It bar. looks like it's got Rice Krispies in there. Yeah, Rice Krispies, oh, no. caramel, and then like a shortbread base covered in chocolate. Hmm. Mm. That is really good. Yeah. There's a really, really good chocolate bar. Wow, that is actually really, really good. Mm. No, so it's Rice Krispies wafer, or no, it's a Rice Krispies like bread, kind of like. So, okay, so, so it's Rice Krispies, and then there's a... Uh, I remember the word, but shortbread, no okay. shortbread. Yeah, I think shortbread. No shortbread, shortbread yeah. works, yeah. Okay, cool. The bottom of it, so. Okay, what about, just, uh, um... Get them out of the way. Let's see what these jammy dongers... No, dodgers, dodgers, not dongers. No oh, dongers sure. here. Sure it's not j jammy dongers? <laughs> no, it's not jammy dongers. <laughs> oh, I must be mistaken. Anyway, give one of those bad boys a try. These are nice. We have a raspberry flavor. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, it tastes like a raspberry cookie. No complaints. I mean, yeah, it's kind of hard no. to mess that up, honestly. No, it's really not. So, I mean, I think you've got to wash it all down, Jerome. <laughs> you're going to the iron brew? Yeah. Is this like something that's very niche, like either I'm just going to hate it? Yeah. Okay. Or I'm going to love it. Mm hmm. All right, then. Well, give me a little smell. Yeah, you got to give it a smell test. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what it smells like. There's nothing like, there's no other soda like it. I have no idea what I yeah. even said it smells like. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. I just don't. Hmm. I'm really interested to see what you think of it. It's all right. I don't know. I'm not. Really? I'm not. I want to go out of my way to drink it. I don't hate it. Like, no. I just wouldn't really. But then again, I'm pretty sure this is the new. Hold on. I don't know. Yeah, this is the uh, new packaging. So this is the one with the reduced sugar in it. So it's probably not as good. Oh. Yeah, Wait, that, reduced sugar? Yeah, that's reduced from what it was. Oh, God. There's 52 grams in this yep. thing. No, that was reduced from what it used to be. I wouldn't be able to put up the stats because I don't know off the top of my head, but... uh, Wow. Well, yeah. I mean, it... I, I, I don't know. You don't know? You know what it might be? It might be just that I'm not used to the sugars you use. Completely you, different. We yeah. use real sugars. We don't use yeah. your... Yeah, uh... but the fake stuff's better, though. No, it's not. <laughs> no, 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 it's really not. No, I'm, I'm kidding. The fake stuff's actually awful for you. Americans, yeah. we are very bad about that. It's high, fructose, it's high fructose corn syrup. So, you know does it. hopefully, these are the real penguins because there's a surprise in this for you. A surprise? Yes. On every single penguin bar, there's a terrible dad joke. No way! Yeah. Give me one of those dads. So it should be... There you go. So so the question and then the uh, reveal will What a be, great idea! <laughs> yeah. What do you call a happy penguin? I don't know. What do you call a happy penguin? I'll tell you, bitch. <laughs> a peng grin. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's over. And they will they will be different as well. Oh, I think man. you gotta read a few more. What? What? What is this fascinating? Why do you all? Oh, okay, because they're called penguins. What do you call five hundred penguins in Trafalgar Square? That's uh, the Trafalgar Square in London. It's the one with uh, Napoleon. Not Napoleon. It's the wrong one. That's the wrong guy. <laughs> Uh, with the big lions around. Support from today's show comes from Ben & Jerry's. As a brand, Ben & Jerry's is known for creating quirky and fun flavor combinations. They're always complete with delicious chunks and swirls throughout. It's an indulgent experience, and it's meant to be. But now with Muforia flavors, digging into a bowl is sweeter than ever. Because at 140 to 160 calories per serving and less fat than regular ice cream, Muforia is the lightest way to enjoy all of the flavors of Ben & Jerry. It tastes so much better than healthier or better for you desserts. It comes in three amazing flavors. Chocolate milk and cookies, caramel cookie fix, and PB dough. Give them a try. Go to store.benjerry.com. You can have Muforia light ice cream delivered straight to you. Now back to the video. Gandalf? Yes. Gandalf Square. What do you call 500 pounds at Trafalgar Square? <laughs> Lost. Oh, God. What do I penguins mean... wear to the beach? A bikini. Alright, we're done. We're just gonna. Right, never mind. I'll have my own one of these because I actually quite like penguins. They're a great chocolate bar. Yeah, they're pretty good. Better than the jokes.
I mean, they're chocolate, and what is that in the middle? Just like crumbs? Yeah. And I literally, I can only describe it as crumbs. Um, no, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Better than the jokes, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, let's try out this Milka bar that has, oh, this is a common, this looks like arrows. Yeah. So the British have a candy called arrows, and they're like aerated, like, right. I don't know how to explain it. Like chocolate that's like aerated. Yes. Yeah. Um, so this look, looks like a Milka bar combined with an arrow, but they call it bubbly. Bubbly. Uh, we're gonna Which bubbly. I'm assuming just means that they ripped off arrow shit. Yeah. That's, that's what it means. Well, I mean, no, there's this white chocolate flavor. Have you ever had an arrow? I've had arrows, yeah. Uh, did you Did you get unlucky and get a mint one? They're just nasty. I actually have had a mint one before. Oh, you like them? No, I don't think they're that good, but oh, yeah, I don't yeah. hate them. No, I don't like them. Oh, wow, that's actually really interesting. Well, sort of. But you can see the holes from where they injected this stuff in with air bubbles. When they oh, yeah. That's really cool, actually. Yeah. I wonder if that's what that is or if that's like a defect. Or, I don't know, but it, on the that, back. That, that looks too circular to be. A... On the back, there's like little circles. Look at that. Hmm. 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 So what is your, what is your, is it good or bad? Good. Uh, I like it. I like the traditional Milka bar better, though, honestly. What is Milka? But milk is the bar. Is yeah, but it's not a, not a... Is it a Capri's company? No, is it not a British candy? Mm-mm. Why did you say anything? I don't know. I thought you knew something that I didn't. You know what? Oh, God, yeah, the packaging is, like, not even primarily in English. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's in German. Oh, God, how do, how do we end up here? <laughs> Throw that aside. Let's get, get rid of this milk one. <laughs> Shh, that didn't happen. All right, Spen, so what is a catch bar? Never heard of this one. I think it's a new one. Is but it, it is it, it, Is it British? Well, a really simple way to find out uh, is on the back. Uh... Product of Trinidad and Tobago. Close enough, let's give it a try. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, yeah. It's not close at all, but we'll give it a try. Oh, dude, how do you eat all of this? <laughs> Why? Dude. I didn't mean for it to break. <laughs> Mm. So, have you ever ever watched Flushed Away, the the movie with the rat? No. Okay. All right, there's no point in me explaining the joke then. <laughs> I was gonna say there's a scene where he gets flushed down the toilet, and he grabs onto something that looks like that. It did actually true? turn out to turn to be a chocolate bar, but it looked it does, yeah, just reminded me that. It, uh... Well, there you have it. There you have it. And this is a Milky Bar. By Nestle. Now, now Nestle, I think, is an American company. No, it's an English company. Nestle's a... Really? Actually, I don't think it's there either. I'm pretty sure they're offshored somewhere. It's <laughs> mm. <laughs> very possible. I'm not a fan of that one. It's too sweet. All right, so Nestle, though, for all intents and purposes, is probably British. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll do that. There we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I got I'm two of them. I'm so sick of chocolate. I know, I thought I was upset. I thought you were someone you'd get the two. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Milky bar? Yeah, just okay. like very milky milk chocolate. I mean, that's the. No, it's milky white chocolate. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it probably is. Right. What do you think? Can we not have something not chocolate? Can we break out. Actually, let's break out the whole knobs. <laughs> let's. <laughs> let's. Break them out, Ben. This is actually my favorite biscuit from back home. I like the, um. Oh, uh, you've never had a hot knob before. Before okay. you answer that. I was going to say the digestives. Yeah, this is so this is basically like a digestive. Oh, it's been the same company? Yeah. McFitties? Yeah. Or, is that you say? Uh, yeah, so you have your digestives and then you have your rich tea biscuits that you dip in your tea and stuff like that. That's a, that's a great... Okay, can we... Thank you. So these are messy, just as a heads up. So you might want to eat them over the top of the table. But uh, this is a uh, hot dog. By it's appearance, very, it looks the same. Almost. The texture is completely different. It's very OT. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. It almost tastes like a chocolate oatmeal cookie. Yeah, they're, they're really good, and you can eat the whole pack quite easily on your own. Yeah, that's really good. Mm. It's literally eating a chocolate oatmeal cookie. I like it. Yeah. Okay, you got to choose. Let's do the Violet Crumble. Oh no, is that a coffee crisp? Oh, a coffee who puts crisp? coffee and chocolate? Is the... So, oh wow, so I like how it broke apart like that because that helps me explain my point. I was gonna say, if you've never had something like this, like the crunchies and oh, the yeah. crumbles, <laughs> they're made of this weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> you ruined my toy! The, 
the wrapper <laughs> cut itself in a very unfortunate way. Okay, I don't uh, know if we're going to show that. No, we definitely uh, can't show that. But the wrapper, uh, wording-wise, it cut in the middle of a word. And, oh, man. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> that is exactly like the uh, toffee crisp. Ah, I think that's actually it, toffee crisp. Mm. No, it's really unique. So this middle part here kind of like melts in your mouth. So it's like kind of crumbly and hard. Like, you hear it? It's like porous almost. Yeah. No, it is ungodly sweet and it hurts your teeth. I don't like it very much, no. No. Oh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this one, I'm not sure on, because I don't like coffee in my chocolate. It certainly smells like coffee. Really? Oh, man. That smells like nasty coffee. Hmm. No, just like chocolate with a light touch of coffee. Mm. I really like it, actually. No, that's actually not bad. Yeah. No, I actually very much so like that, Ben. Hmm. Don't judge a book by its cover. Hmm? Yeah. Artificial coffee flavor, for it. Well, of course, you didn't put real coffee in there. Yeah. Okay, this one's called a Mirage Bar. Oh no! What? It, oh. It, oh, it has the arrow texture in the middle. So, it, what is with the British candies being like aerated like that? I don't. Never seen I don't that. know, but it looks really chocolatey. Yeah, yeah, it's like a chocolate arrow. Yeah. No. Oh. I, I mean, it's not a problem. I just, no. I don't think Americans. I can't think of any candy we aerate like that. It's no. just interesting. It's different. Nestle does a lot of aerated candies. All right, fruit pastels, the best one. I know they're called pastilles, but how to throw an American touch them. This is my all-time- no, fruit pastels. Oh, uh, there was pastilles. No, you pronounced that wrong. There's fruit pastels. Then I speak Americanese, I okay. think I would know. Uh, oh, so these are my favorite candy of all time. They're basically like any kind of fruit flavored candy or gummy that you've had in the past. Uh, they have tons of different flavors and they're just incredible. So, oh, man. if you see them at the store, get them, try them, please. Seven sweets contains 15 grams of sugar. Bombs <laughs> up. Oh man. Oh, that is so good though. I know. But 100 grams, there is 55 grams of sugar. And there is uh, how many grams in this bag? Not enough. No, yeah, honestly, I'll probably be going by tonight. No, <laughs> oh, that's so good. Mm. Can you pop me the iron brew? I need to push yeah. my diabetes down. <laughs> oh, God. No. Anyway, everybody, that's going to do it. That's all we have time for today. We hope you guys had fun. If you did, then do us a favor. Smash that like button subscribe. And once again, thank you to our sponsor, Ben & Jerry's. Take care and goodbye. Support for today's show comes from Ben & Jerry's. They're known for creating euphoric ice cream flavors that are unique and quirky. With the new Muforia flavors, digging into a bowl is even sweeter than ever. Running at 140 to 160 calories, it is the best way and lightest way to enjoy Ben & Jerry's. It's available in three flavors, chocolate milk and cookies, caramel cookie fix, and PB dough. You can go to store.benjerry.com and you can order some today. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.